Ooh, that was for sure a redfish. Okay. There goes another one. There goes two. Not the greatest introduction to the day, I'll say, but it started off just like that. I mean, just seeing redfish here and there, um, tons of mullet, and nothing but shallow waters except for that small little pocket of deep water pretty close to the launch. So after spooking those redfish, I decided why not make my way across this flat to see if I can maybe see any more signs of redfish some that weren't spooky or on high alert like these were the dog days of fishing are upon us and my original intentions were to try Wilson's cut but after driving over the JFK and kind of seeing how low the water was and then driving over um, Packery and seeing that water really coming in you know it, it kind of changed my mind so I ended up just pulling over here and, and launching as quick as I could and uh, you know after seeing those few redfish it kind of seemed like anything. maybe I might have a chance but it wasn't really until I made my way across this whole entire flat towards the duck blind uh, which you'll see here in the video in a little bit um, that's when I I stumbled across what was just a ginormous field of redfish tailing and it stayed that way for about uh, roughly an hour and a half even at the peak of the the uh, sun or what I call the peak of the sun because it got really really hot really really quick and uh, yeah it, I mean it just it seemed to stay that way for quite some time enough for me to do a little bit of damage and uh, I'll talk more about the lure that I'm using later on Fish right here. I'm gonna try and stop myself. So I saw a couple. I saw a couple of tailing reds. These guys are on high alert. Normally, uh, Telling Red, you at least get a shot. But I know I saw these tails sticking out. And as soon as I inched up a little bit closer. Oh, look, there we go. There goes one. Oh, God bless. Come on. Dude, those are big tails. Oh, there. 
there we go. There we go. Oh, he came off. No. Finally, after about, I don't know, 30 minutes of watching these guys and tossing at them, finally got one to eat. And these guys have been real skittish, but they are tailing up on here. As you can tell, this water is super shallow today. I don't mind if you go that way because I got my net right here. You are just a treat right now. No, oh, okay, I can't get you out. There's still some out of here, so I'm gonna be real quick about this. Of course, my GoPro would die right when I need it to, but when, right when I don't need it to. But uh, we got the fish nonetheless. That's a good size red too. Oh, hold on buddy, I'll, I'll let you go. Don't worry. Okay. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to, um, to um, Eddie Murphy. This one goes out to you buddy. Alright, alright, calm down. We got a 21 and three quarters. So there we go. Yeah, shout out to Eddie Murphy. He hooked me up with this uh, this board, this catch board. And these are supposed to be tournament rated. So shout out to him for sending me that. Really appreciate it. He also sent me some uh, really cool pliers. come in handy super awesome god it has been a grind today and we still got tailing reds out here so let's see if I can uh, reset just a little bit you know, honestly, what helped out was uh, this stuff right here, the Procure. I had been tossing at him and tossing at him and nothing, nothing. And uh, as soon as I put this stuff on, I got a hit. I'll probably include it into the video. I mean, I, I've been sitting here for a little bit of time. I finally hooked one. That was a good redfish, too. That was a darn good redfish. Let me pick up my prop real quick. It's that way. That 
way I can uh, reset myself. Yeah, there's still some tail and rib fish out here. So we're just gonna hang tight. Yeah, look, there's still some right here. Put this guy down. I'm gonna try over here first. Man, I'm making terrible casts today. There's another one tailing over there. Here we go. Missed him. That should be it right there. <laughs> yeah, pull me back that way. He came right up to the, uh, almost to the nose of the kayak. He was chasing this bait. And, uh, Same size, maybe, maybe a little bit smaller. Hey, buddy. How are you? Man, they got a nice golden color today. How you doing, buddy? Okay, all right, calm down. Yeah, he's a little bit smaller. He's probably maybe 20, maybe. Barely makes that 20. He pinched the tail. Well, it's okay, buddy, because it's your lucky day. Man, this is just awesome. Look, there goes another one right there. This is just awesome. Oh, look, there he is. The all right, guy. You doing fine? Try not to make too much noise, but man, it's hard. <sighs> For those of y'all who are wondering, Mossy Mullet from uh, John Skinner. <sighs> and, uh, really just trying to 
match the hatch. A ton of mullet going on, uh, going around right now. So, and look at that. They're even there, I'm I am literally just surrounded by redfish. Oh. He missed it. He took a bite. He took a bite. It's not every day that you're surrounded by redfish like this. Yes! 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 Oh, he came up. Oh, all that grass. All that grass. Crap. Yeah, okay, I just got back. And wow, it is hot. Unbelievably hot, but. Just off in that direction, uh, past that kayak, if you can see him, where those other kayakers are at, kind of where that duck blind is, all of that was surrounded by redfish. Unbelievable. And as you can tell, there's a ton of bait right now. Mullet. So, it was quite the productive day, but boy, is it hot. I did want to show you all something, though. Um, uh, there was a comment about a, the scupper plugs, and... Uh, on the uh, hammerhead kayak, which obviously you can see right here, which is not organized in any way, shape, or form, but uh, the scupper plugs, there is 12 of them. Four up here, I think there's two down here, or four down there, two right here, something like that, right? So I typically do not pull scupper plugs when I'm out on the water, but if I do, I pull these two back here. I didn't even notice this third one. Uh, I pull these two back here and I figure that's enough to kind of let out the water but uh, yeah I saw a comment about that that's kind of how I kind of how I rock it um, I forgot the name of this park it was called Wolf's Landing but I think they changed the name of it I'll put it uh, I'll show kind of a map or put the name up uh, but if you are going to launch from here, uh, get a good look at the water line where it's at. Normally, it's a little bit more where that gravel is. Uh, so it was pretty shallow today. Of course, there is that pocket kind of where that guy is. There's a deep pocket. It gets real, real deep. But it is really shallow. I mean, it was I was running no more than a couple inches of water, maybe less than a little bit less than a foot. And she did it. I mean, uh, she, you'll see in the footage. I'll put some of the other footage. I uh, kind of traversed along this uh, line over here, this land, and uh, it was super shallow. And I was chasing some redfish, but yeah, she got it done. I will say. And again, shout out to uh, uh, Eddie Murphy from no uh, from. Uh, hammerhead kayaks he sent me that catch measuring board and he sent me these really awesome pliers right here really really awesome cut through braid the whole shebang he saw my video and he saw me using a bad pair of pliers which on my part i could have replaced them i just didn't but uh shout out to him for sending me that so uh y'all guys check them out hammerhead kayaks they are very affordable, pedal drive, fin drive, you can change between the two. Um, and I mean, just a big sturdy kayak. I'm, I'm, I'm a big guy, so you know, I gotta be sturdy out there. 
But anyways, I'm gonna get out the sun, guys. It's hot. Y'all have a good one.